guys, guys, it pains me to report this. And I, I really don't want to have to say this out loud, but <laughs> Albedo went to jail for stuff that he did. Ha, adventurer, think you can last a round against me? I can't believe Moment of birth! Maybe if I stop with my in-the-field research with my welfare meals, then maybe the Duke will let me out early. As an amateur British internet detective, I declare that Albedo's mates are also complicit in his crimes in it. Now the question is, who are you guys pulling for this Fontaine season? Is it Baiju? I, I didn't think so. Is it Farina? Yeah, probably. But no, you are an intellectual like me. You have already made your pick on who you're adding to your roster. Meet Monsieur Nouvellet, the best Hydro Catalyst and the best Hydro DPS that this game has to offer. Yes, that's right. Say goodbye to child. You don't need any more children in your life. Let's get this money, baby. Good morning, open sesame. My girl won't have sex with me until I give a sec to me. That ain't shit to me. Galazines are beautiful creatures. They are the pride. You said that right, buddy. On the build side of things, he's actually not too difficult to manage. Want to give him a crit damage weapon if you don't feel like doing a lot of work. I never pull on the character weapon banner. It's a fucking scam. Don't listen to any of these guys pull on the weapon banner, YouTuber. Don't, don't fucking do it. You're wasting time and uh, definitely money if you were like me in 2022. But a weapon like the Wits, which is... A very easy weapon a lot of players have it this will do very nicely on him the passives are also just an added bonus but really what you're looking at is that crit damage stat he also ascends with crit damage so he he gets that by default now of course this can be better this can be better i know but listen this is brand new i just finished this usable build of him okay cut me some slack please don't bully me in the comments artifact wise marikasi hunter i think that's how you say that Marichal C. Hunter. Close enough. Basically, his kit has him losing and gaining a lot of HP pretty much the entire time you're fighting. So, this four-piece set bonus right here really comes in handy. Constellation-wise, you probably want to go for C1 if you don't have Zhongli. It's very easy for him to be knocked out of stance. And for talents, well, Evil you probably just want to level them all to hell, up. Bitch. But I would focus on number one first. Now, in combat, Nuvolet probably doesn't need too much elemental reactions but if you want to go for something like electro charged or even frozen permafrost throw ganyu in there you know some, something excuse me sir i was walking here enough of me talking let's go kill some shit this domain right here is kind of a cheat code to showing off how he works this is his artifact domain but hey it'll do. See, Nuvolet's kit works on the elemental skill and elemental burst, which drop these little, uh, these little circles that you see right there. They basically allow him to do his charged attack quicker, and they also heal him. When he does his charged attack, he loses, dam he loses HP. So basically, the effect bonus of the four-piece set is constantly kicking in, and the, uh, electro resonance right there, that, that really does well, too. They sure do. It's just that easy. To go into depth a little bit more about his talents, his burst will drop six source water droplets, those little circle things I was talking about, and his skill will drop three of them near the opponent. When you charged up his normal attack, he will absorb all of these and go berserker mode. That's basically how you play Nouvellet. So will Nouvellet be winning your pull this Fontaine season or are you going to be a simp? Let me know who you're going for in the comments and also, yes, Albedo broke out. Free Albedo. It feels like every night I'm having these nightmares that you won't